Hey, what's up guys? Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Answering a question today that was left on a YouTube video from a guy calling himself the Amazon player. He says, can you use weight machines to build strength for shot put and discus even though you pull instead of push the weights up? You know, I, I don't understand the, the last part of it because there are weight machines where you push and you push overhead, you extend your triceps, you push your you push using the chest. There are weight machines where you push, so I'm not sure where he's saying that you pull instead of push the weights up, unless he's talking about like a, a pull down machine or a rowing machine. Um, but I did want to touch on when he asks, can you use weight machines to build strength for shot put and discus? Now, if you have watched any of my videos, if you have taken a look at the tour that I do um, of, of, the, of the gym, what you notice here is that I do not have any machines. There are no treadmills, there are no exercise bikes, there are no elliptical machines, there's no cardio machines, and there are no selectorized machines where you have to pull the pin and put it in the weight stack, and there are no um, leverage style hammer strength machines where you have to add weight plates and sit in a machine and do different exercises. The reason for that is because, no, you cannot get as strong with a selectorized machine as you could with using free weights. Um, again, been proven by thousands of different people that aren't me, and it's been proven by me as well. Here's the reason why. When you are using a weight machine, whether it's a, a leverage style, whether it's where you pull the pin, when you are using a weight machine, you are locked into one plane of motion. You are locked into a specific movement pattern. So for example, if you are doing a chest press machine, a selectorized chest press machine, you sit in the machine, you have your hands up here, you put the pin in the, the right weight that you want to do, you push the weight and bring it back down. Push the weight and it lowers it back down. You push the weight and it lowers it back down. And say you do a set of six or a set of eight or whatever. You are missing a key component you are missing a core component of strength, which is the negative aspect of it. You don't have to actually lower the weight. All you have to do is resist the weight as it's coming back toward you. And there is a huge difference between, let's take for example, the, the chest press machine and doing a bench press. There is a huge difference between lowering weight down to your chest with the bar and just easing the weight down if it's controlled by pulleys and by angles and everything else. You are going to get much stronger using free weights than you ever could using machines. The other reason is with machines that you're stuck with a weight stack, you're limited by what that weight stack is. So I'm 220 pounds, I can bang out probably like 12, 14 pull-ups in a row pretty easily. If I was doing a pull-down machine, and the weight stack only went up to 150 pounds, well, how could I increase my strength? If I could just put the pin all the way at the bottom and start doing pull downs and do pull downs all day long, get 18, 20 of them before I get tired, how is that gonna increase my strength? It's not increasing my strength, it's just increasing my endurance as I pull down 150 pounds. Two totally different things. With something like a weight bar, you have to, number one, lower that weight yourself. And by lowering the weight yourself, you're increasing the strength of all the stabilizer muscles that are in your chest, in your shoulders, in your triceps, in your upper back, in your lats. You are increasing your ability and you're increasing your strength in your ability to lower that weight. But you also have the explosiveness. When you explode off that chest, when you push that weight, as you use your back, as you use your shoulders and your triceps and your chest to push that weight, you have to control it and push that weight. Control the weight down and control the weight up. And by doing that, you are going to increase your strength that much more than using a machine because you are getting stronger controlling the weight. And I see that all the time here. Let me move you back and show you what I normally see. Now, Move you back a little bit here.
Now, this might be a little tough to see, but when I work with athletes who have been using mostly machines, they go to a gym and they didn't have a trainer, they didn't have anybody showing them how to use free weights, so they just decided to hop on machines. Normally when they bench, this is where, what I see. And again, use the bench as an example, but squat, whatever the, the movement might be, squatting, overhead pressing, this is what I normally see. To unrack the weight, when they get it up, they're shaking because they've never controlled weight before, so they're shaking. From here, I tell them to lower it down, and it usually just comes crashing right down. As they push, they're all over the place trying to push that weight up, and then they lower it back down, and then they push the weight back up, they lower it down, they push the weight back up. Now, they have no problem pushing the weight back up because they've been able to push weight on a machine, but they have a heck of a of a hard time controlling it as it goes up, controlling it as it comes down, and resisting the weight as it comes down. So using machines, you don't have to control the weight as you push, you don't have to control the weight as it comes back towards you, and you don't have to uh, be, be strong enough to lower the weight as it comes back toward you. So using machines are a big disadvantage to using free weights. The other thing with free weights is you can do explosive movements, dumbbell cleans, barbell cleans, clean and press, snatches. Um, using the free weights is just a much more fluent way of moving. You can move in your body's own natural plane of motion. Um, if you are locked into a machine and you're not flexible enough, well you could possibly get hurt. So these are things that Free weights have an advantage over machines. They will get you stronger using free weights. Um, they will allow you to control yourself uh, a lot better using free weights. Free weights are just overall a much better idea. Now, if you're limited and that's all you have, I know high schools in this area, they've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on weight room equipment and it's all just machines where they could have spent a third of that price and outfitted it with the best free weight equipment possible. If you're stuck only using machines, I guess you're stuck only using machines. Uh, if you go to a, a commercial gym and they have a combination of machines and free weights, leave the machines alone, get over to the free weights, it's going to have a much bigger benefit for you. Again, if you're at a high school and you're stuck, I would take a look at some body weight training to supplement in for the machines. Things like pull-ups, push-ups, body weight squats, if you have dumbbells, I would try to use some dumbbell movements um, to work in with the machines that you have in the weight room. Try to do as much as you can to supplement for the machine. Now, if you have no bench and all you have is a chest press, you're going to have to use the chest press if you want to use a lot of heavy weight, especially if you don't have a free weight bench or heavy free weights. You're just going to have to figure it out. But to answer the question, free weights, in my opinion, and opinion of thousands of some of the strongest people in the world, free weights are much better than machines. So there you have it. Guys, Coach Matt over at Primal, getting a lot of great training questions as well as throwing questions. So keep them coming in. Throw us from all over the world. Watch these videos. And by sending in your questions, I get to do more videos. And we get to help together, help out throwers from all over the world that watch these to create better throwers, to help them improve, and to really to, to spread the love of the sport of track and field all throughout the world. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you leave your questions, and I will answer them here in the future.